bye 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 your love I guess I didn't try try hard enough but we could work this like a nine to five Mama told me stop play play all the games steady throwing dollars and spare the change but every war ends the same can we just I saw my problems with a check. Now I'm paying for it. You wanted nothing, nothing but love. I can't lie, I'm a mess. I'm too jealous, yes. It's so hard to trust you when I don't trust myself. Can't you buy, buy, buy your love I guess I didn't try, try hard enough But we could work this like a nine to five Mama told me stop, pay, pay all the games Steady throwing dollars, it's bad to change But every war ends the same Can we just
We're going to have a, a dance kit. Kula neno, kula neno. Gentlemen, we want to get into a session of brief speeches because these speeches are going directly to our graduates and maybe the parents as they transit to the next level. I want to call upon Teacher Joy. This is her day to give us a brief speech. Today is your peaceful graduation. Bravo to PP2. You guys did it. Appreciate them. They did it. Congratulations. I am so proud of you. I am glad I 
who was your teacher. So I have a little speech for you guys. It has been an amazing year watching each and every one of you grow. The year has come and gone so quickly. I cannot believe the end is already here. I am so excited for your futures and I want nothing but the very best in your years to come. I know that each and every one will succeed in anything you put your mind to. Remember to always work hard and never give up. I repeat this again. Remember to always work hard and never give up. Hello parents. Hi. Did you do hello parents or did you do hell you? We are here. We are here. Oh. Hip hip. I can't hear your voice. Hip hip. Wow, they are there. And to the parents, I say thank you for allowing me to be your child's teacher. I, it has been a wonderful and rewarding year for me. I give you back your child, the same child that you entrusted in my care. I give you, I give your child back a little bit older, a little bit taller, and a whole lot smarter. It has been my, pri my pleasure and privilege to watch them grow and learn day by day. We have lived, loved, loved, and learned. We have become like a family that I will always be interested in your child, their future, wherever they go, whatever they may do, and whoever they may become. I look forward to the day when I hear that familiar name linked with great accomplishments. Thank you for sharing such a special child with me this year, last year, last year but one. May God bless you so much. And to my director, thank you for allowing me to teach in this school. And to my fellow teachers, thanks for your love and support. May God bless all of you abundantly. Thank you. I want to welcome the assistant deputy head teacher, teacher Geoffrey Odidi, to give us a speech. To the guest of honor, sir, directors, parents, guardians, SBA staff, that is Safari Blues Academy staff, and friends from our moving up students and to our students. I would like to congratulate our graduates for sustaining three years in kindergarten. Can our parents and pupils give them applause? Congratulations. The performance has been well done and now what you have done for three years is being honored for today. And what you have accomplished for the three years the result is successful. So with that, I will always believe that the children are our heritage and God has a plan for each of our children. And the exam begins here. So with that, I would like to thank you parents for giving us the opportunity here at Safari Group to start what God has a destiny with our children. Moreover, I would like to congratulate the kindergarten teachers and all staff. I know you have labored so much for all the hard work and now it pays indeed. So with that, I would like to officially welcome you here in the moving up ceremony and all of you can look in at home. To the graduate boys and girls, you all look so dignified in your little cups and girls. But we all know that there are going to be a cake and a snack after the graduation ceremony. And that is, I know what you are really waiting for. Moms and dads, the world around you is changing fast. And that means that your child world is also changing fast. In the past, a circle of a change took a generation. Or around 40 years, now it is less than 10 years. So, that means that there will be at least one circle of a change before your PP2 graduates become an adult. 
Your child will leave your guidance more than ever. Your primary job as a parent is not to raise good kids. Your most important responsibility as a parent is to raise your child to be a good adult. I can see that our young graduates are getting restless. So can I say congratulations, PP2 class of 2020-2021. Bravo. Thank you very much. At this point, ladies and gentlemen, I want to give this opportunity to our Madam Director. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Madam Yes, thank you. Uh, I'm so glad this morning because we just ran this occasion. What God has led it to be. We thank the Almighty God for everything. Uh, today, it's a great pleasure to share with you this joyful and memorable occasion of the third graduation ceremony of Safari Brooks Academy PP2 class. Let me, first of all, express my warmest congratulations to our young graduates who have successfully gone through an important phase of study that's laid the foundation of lifelong learning. Thank you. That must go to the parents, teachers, and all stakeholders for having given their very support and an enabling environment with children. Potential is nurtured, developed through a wide variety of excellent learning experience. The transition of preschool to primary sections marks a very step in a child's life. During the three years of preschool, the student grills and learns so much that it is simply amazing. We do not want the last day of their time in pre-primary to just come and go as if it wasn't significant. We want our pupils and their parents to know that their time in pre-primary was precious and that we value every second of it. We want them to celebrate the closing of their preschool years and the beginning of a new experience to come. A graduation ceremony is always such a special occasion. That culmination of years of hard work, the actualization of goals attained, and the acknowledgement of, of success as achieved. So it is only fitting that today we commemorate the road that we have all traveled together the last three years. Uh, there is a thing with keep, keeping together is a progress. Working together is a success. As we look back over the last few years, certainly there was a beginning, thankfully there was also a progress. And yes, and in that way we have been successful. We thank our mighty God. Yes, within these children, we plant tiny seeds. These children are seeds we plant. We pass this that we trust we help our children grow into strong adults. In order for them to grow into strong adults, they will need deep roots. Roots that are sunk in the soil of self-confidence and strong values and beliefs. Each day we must water them with hope, kindness and love. We must feed the plants with nutrients of knowledge character and dedication. We must care for them so that they can prove with the creativity, curiosity, intelligence, citizenship, and leadership. Our new generations will face much faster changing world than we did decades ago. The advent of information and technology and the development of knowledge-based economy are leading to changes, to changes at a distant rate and scale. The knowledge children learn at school will soon run behind. The development of the society, in the face of the challenges ahead, we need to equip our new generation to be like wrong learners and with the ability to learn how to learn so that they 
can keep a breeze of changes and become active, valuable members of our community. Our vision of education for 21st century is to enable all our children to develop their potential to the fullest extent. It will be the it will be the concerted effort by the school frontline educators and community as a whole, which will translate our vision into reality. Hence, the CBC curricula, that is competence-based curricula. To parents, I wish to express my appreciation of your active contribution towards your child education. Today is a great day both to you and to your child. I am sure that the graduation ceremony will stay in your child's memory as well as in, in yours forever. I would also like to congratulate the school and the teachers for their efforts and contributions promoting the development and education of young children. Graduates, may your years ahead continue to be characterized by sympathy, compassion, objectivity, and willingness to take risks. May you always ready by example, work hard, and press great. To all graduates once again, my warmest congratulations on your achievement in SBA school. I wish you all the best. I wish you every success in your future start studies. Our teachers and graduates. Good morning and praise God. My name is Mr. Nisiyan and I am the Almighty God for the precious gift of life and the good health and also giving us the opportunity to hold this ceremony. Even enabling us to finish the academic year after the long closure. God has and has continued to bless our school and also our country. Today we are holding our fifth graduation ceremony for the PP2 class. It has been five years since the school opened its doors in January 2016. This is a momentous occasion in the history of our school. To our graduates, my great congratulate you for your achievements when you graduate from Queen Primary uh, to Grade 1. To our parents, we thank you for entrusting us with your children. Also, even during the period that you are conducting the online classes. We appreciate your support that enabled uh, uh, us to emerge strongly after the long pandemic break. We ask you to continue supporting our school and also to recommend our school to your friends and neighbors so that we may grow. Above all, we again Glorify the name of the Almighty God, to whom we are all accountable for the rights of our children, or of the children entrusted to us. We are working hard to have a good measure in place to ensure that our school performance is excellent and that we are able to offer and deliver quality education to our learners. We will continue to ensure that our teachers remain accountable for the time they spend with the runners and the deliver quality, and there's nothing less than quality. Our school is enabling uh, and working on improvement of our computer lab, with more computers, networking, uh, and also equipment to have a bigger number of learners. So we also are uh, to maintain high discipline standards, and at the same time, increase the people personal awareness and inspire self-development and confidence. Uh, my prayer is that God will continue to protect each one of us. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Amen. Congratulations to the TP2 class. We are really very proud of you. You have done well. And I've enjoyed your dance. That is one of the things I'm not able to do. For the parents, uh, I am really one of you. My son just graduated the other day from PP2, and we were not allowed to go. I just bought photos. So you are really privileged that you came. And the culture we built, even at home, is a culture that remains with you for very long. Sometimes the culture 
have built at home, even if it's negative, you may actually adapt it or fight it. But all of you are living according to the culture before at home. I have I've done medicine in university, I still teach in the university once in a while. And you find some boys who cannot take a no. Because they can't imagine, they have never been told no. Mom, I want a sausage. Chica. Mom, I want your phone. Chica. Dad, I want this. Jukua. I want this. Jukua. Then he goes to come back, ask this lady, and the lady says, no. He can't take it. And now he's depressed. Because the fact no has come from the unlikely places. All of us are here, let's help each other, but nobody is at a point where everyone must fall, you know, head on heels to try and help you. I can't have understanding that you need to do things for yourself. We need discipline. As we pursue our goals, we also need time management. God gave all of us enough time. Some of us make millions, others thousands, others shillings, others are abortion. A lot of us are 24 hours. So how are you using your time? There are three things that define a person. Three things. We have talents, we have culture, and we have personality. Of course, we can have many, many of them. But these three are important. Now, when I was in nursery school, I went to a nursery school in uh, Kirinyaga, a place called Gaijeri. I went to nursery school for many years. But when I went to do my interview, I feel terrible. The teacher was saying, these are balls. Count them, and if they are four, you write four. Maybe they are. Now, I think I knew. What are the chances that the teacher gave the right number? Ritualism. So I almost got zero. I still got my name. And uh, I think one more question. I got, and actually I remember my dad, because he was an old parent, going to talk to the headmaster. And I was, he was in my presence. And how he begged for the headmaster, so he looking at the results. There is even a possibility he is a special child. <laughs> <laughs> In uh, now we do that time it was uh, what? Reunit. So I, I was a repeater there and I was taken to uh, a private school because like, there was, you know, there's like parallel. You come and you can have a parallel if you are class one. And somehow I was able to, to get into primary school. In a school called Kalidoto Primary School. I mean, when you hear the name, you can tell what kind of school it was. But I can tell you this. I thank God for my mother. She's late now. But I thank God for her. During that time, the Kwanguka interview, Wakati Maria was so disappointed. My mother said, He is still young. He can do it again. Two years later, when I got an A minus in my, my phone form, my mother said, Do you see? He is young. <laughs> he can always do it. So during my graduation uh, with my computer engineering, second class upper, I removed my gown. Now you have fear. You can hear my mom. You can wonder. He? Yeah. That is the truth. So my mom passed on. So when I was doing my master's, she was not around. So during my master's, I told my dad, you have pushed me to always be the best I can. So fear he? Yeah. But I don't know in the PhD now. My son, when you have a mother, you do. Let me tell you. You want to be a here? Yeah. But my prayer is, don't give up. I know some of us, interviews with people who are happy, you hear me, not to work out for your business standards, don't give up on them. They are too young for you to think they are not as bright as you thought. They are as bright more than you thought. God bless you. Thank you very much, Pastor Matu Wanda from Beach. That's what I'm going to talk about today.
Kamalian Saul Mwenwa. Kamalian Saul Mwenwa. Next, uh, Raymond Van Demin. Raymond. Congratulations, Raymond. To prepare is Eliana Wanguri Jiri. Eliana. Tanisha Duge, Mohamed. Tanisha Duge, Mohamed. This is number one. Congratulations. Linas Kibati Gechu. Linas Kibati Gechu. Next is Lewis Abil Batu. Lewis Abil Batu. Congratulations to the good one. Farel Lesham Tete. Farel Lesham Tete. Next we have Big Line. Huja. Big Line Huja. Next is Samuel Maina. Samuel Maina. Next is Christian Kamuil. Christian Kamuil. Next is Ariana Wabui. Ariana Wabui. Congratulations, Ariana. Yeah. 
Thank you so much. 